Hi guys, it's Chris here from Tech Tablets with the QY6. Now I've gone and actually pried the casing off it. Got around here with a guitar pick all around this outer edge. It's very easy to do. And you can quite simply just pull the back cover off. And we can have a look at the internals here of the QY6. So not bad at all. The build quality as you can see, the materials they've used and everything, it's really well put together. I mean, you'd open up an iPad Air and it would look pretty similar to this. So we have the two slim battery cells here. They look to be the same that, it, that I've seen in the TechLast X98 Air 3G. And the back of the metal casing as well has a little bit of a heat spreader there on the back there to help with the heat. And the top part here, of course, is plastic. So we have a bit of signal there for the wireless antenna. We have the GPS antenna to show you now at the top here so we've got the GPS and wireless is right here and then we have the uh, GSM antenna everything's taped down we have these little uh, pressure pads around here as well to keep pressure on the the screen to keep it held against the, uh, the plastic surrounding here quite well uh, the heat spreader here is covering up the Intel Bay Trail system on a chip it's just right here now I'm not actually going to pull that off because I'm quite happy with the thermals on this. This tablet has not even gone over 65 degrees yet after gaming and everything. It seems to be really, really good. One of the best I've seen so far. So under there we also have, of course, the eMMC drive in there, which is our internal storage. We have RAM chips under here, uh, which no doubt will probably be Samsung or Hynx. Just along here we have the Realtek audio chipset by the looks of it it could be the could be the wireless we do have the modem here uh, this is cables that are going off to the speakers and right here at the top here that's the rear 5 megapixel autofocus camera and your USB micro USB port here you can see that uh, they have Got it screwed in either side, so should be held in there quite strong. Last thing you want is that to break off, because that is very common. For sometimes they do have had failures with these ports, because that is the most used thing. And there's a lot of stress sometimes on that as well. But that is uh, quite good there. You can see the battery. We have the uh, positive and negative connections right up here. Um, slightly different design there yeah, to, to the to the Tech Last X98 Air, of course. But this uh, same kind of build and uh, maybe even actually a better build quality. I do rate Cube slightly higher in terms of build quality than Teclast. I'm looking at their tablets, the insides of them, and the, just the, the materials they use. They just seem to be slightly better. So that's the internals there of the Cube i6. Not really much else I can show you without actually pulling that apart there. But uh, I will actually put some photos of this too up on techtablets.com if anyone is interested in that. As far as it goes for room for modifications or anything like that, you don't really have any space. I mean, the battery cells, you can't put anything bigger in there. It's not like the uh, Honda V116W that I opened up. There was a lot of space. You could put some more things in there. There is a tiny bit of space around here if someone wanted to try and do a bit of magic. And route in maybe a USB 2 flash drive in there or something. You might be able to put it in there, but you'd have to have a look around and see if there's any unused like USB 2 headers or somewhere on the motherboard. But uh, I wouldn't personally go digging around into that. I know some people have done that with the, the Dell Venue 8 Pro, and they've done some pretty good things with that. There's some uh, thread on that on, on Notebook Forum Check, I think it is, and it's, yeah, it's quite interesting there. Anyway, so uh, not much. Yeah, well, microphone's down here as well. That's one other thing I can point out. And that is it, really, the internals there of the Cube i6. Thank you for watching, and hopefully I'll see you in my next video. Bye for now.